Earlier this week, we announced more details on how you can access the Canada Emergency Response Benefit if you've lost your job or your paycheck. Starting tomorrow, you'll be able to sign up to receive this support by going to Canada.ca. If you choose to direct deposit, you will get a first payment within three to five days. If you choose to receive your benefit by mail, you'll get money within the next 10 days. Prime Minister Trudeau has confirmed that you can now send your application to the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. The program will give Canadians $2,000 a month for the next four months. For all local seasonal workers wondering if they will be covered, the government says you will be. If you've lost your job because of COVID-19, whether you're full-time, contract or self-employed, this new benefit will be there for you. If you're sick or quarantined, looking after someone sick or at home taking care of your kids, it's there for you. And, if you're, and even if you're still employed but not receiving income because of this crisis, the CERB is there for you. Those who are already receiving employment insurance or sickness benefits will continue to receive them. If their EI ends before October 3, 2020, they can apply for the emergency response benefit once their EI stops coming in. Those who are eligible for regular EI or sickness benefits will still be able to access them after the emergency response benefit ends in four months. The federal government is looking into expanding eligibility for EI, but we don't have any more details at the moment. For the emergency response benefit, people must apply on different days. If you were born in January, February or March, you can apply on Monday, so April 6. If you were born in April, May or June, you apply on Tuesdays, so April 7. For July, August or September on Wednesdays, so April 8. For October, November and December on Thursdays, so April 9. Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays are for any month. If you're applying online, you need an account with the CRA. You can also apply over the phone. There's also a provincial program to help self-employed workers. Today we are announcing a $20 million worker emergency bridge fund to help the self-employed and those laid off workers who do not qualify for employment insurance. We will provide a one-time $1,000 payment to bridge the gap between the layoffs and closures and the federal government's Canada Emergency Response Benefit. There have been announcements for small businesses. The federal government will set up the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy that would apply for businesses that lost at least 30% of their revenues in March, April or May when compared to last year. If you work for a company that has been impacted by COVID-19, the government will cover up to 75 75% of your salary on the first $58,700 that you earn. That means up to $847 a week. The program will be in place from March 15 to June 6, 2020. Also for small businesses, Nova Scotia has set up a grant worth $20 million. We're also announcing a $20 million fund called the Small Business Impact Grant. Eligible small businesses will receive a grant of 15% of their gross revenues either from April 2019 or February 2020, up to a maximum of $5,000. This flexibility one-time upfront grant can be used for any purpose. Businesses that have 200 employees or less will be eligible for this program. You can read all about the different grants on the government's websites. We'll leave the links in the description. Please continue to send your questions at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.